I think all languages have within them the possibility of crossing borders and uh, reinventing words, borrowing words and doing word play and being adventurous. English as much as Hindi surely. I mean English is a large language and just as we say about Hindi there is no single one Hindi. There are so many Hindis. I think one says the same about English. Thomas Sand is a huge book not just in its length but in its scope. It's about families, it's about mothers and daughters, it's about the partition of India and Pakistan and above all it's about borders and walls and about language, about the Hindi language. Geetanjali Shri loves the Hindi language and Tomb of Sand is kind of a love letter to the Hindi language. What is a border? It's something that surrounds an existence. It is a person's perimeter, no matter how large, no matter how small. The edge of a handkerchief, the border of a tablecloth, the embroidery around my shawl, the edges of the sky, the beds of flowers in this yard, the borders of fields, the parapet around this roof, a picture frame, everything has a border. However, a border is not created to be removed. It is meant to illuminate both sides. You removed me. Should I leave? No. A border does not enclose, it opens out. It creates a shape, it adorns an edge. This side of the edging blossoms, as does that. Embroider the border with a shimmering vine, studded with precious stones. What is a border? It enhances a personality, gives strength, doesn't tear apart. A border increases recognition, where two sides meet and both flourish. A border, gentlemen, is for crossing.